after you recognize how important vectors are, when you go straight into vector algebra, the first thing that you need to do is compare vectors. So let's talk about comparing, comparing vectors. So when you have normal, normal real numbers algebra, the thing you could do is you could compare numbers like 2 and 3, and you would say that 2 is less than 3 or 3 is greater than 2. Uh, you could do that for a num irrational numbers. You could have done that for e and pi. So you would have said that uh, e is smaller than pi or pi is greater than e. But then when you come to this, this mathematical quantity known as vector, uh, let's say you have two vectors. So you have going and I'm really writing it in words right now. So going five meters east and 10 meters north, this is one vector and you could have just represented it in some sort of way like that. And the other vector, let's say you said going 10 meters east and five meters north. And uh, the vector that you would have in that case would have looked something like that. But irrespective of how these vectors look, you can't really compare these two vectors. You can not say that the vector in purple uh, is is greater or equal to the vector in, in white. And uh, so you cannot say you cannot say that uh, vector A, uh, let me do that in the purple color. So you cannot say that vector A is is greater than or less than vector b that that just doesn't make any sense since these quantities now have direction and you can, you cannot compare directions you cannot compare north and east and you cannot compare up and down that's something that that just doesn't make any sense however then if you have if you have something uh like going 10 meters north if you had going 10 meters north and 5 meters east 5 meters east in that case now you see something these two vectors represent the same thing now you don't have you don't have different things these two are one and the same thing here also you go 5 meters east and here as well you go 5 meters east. Here you go 10 meters north and here as well you go 10 meters north. So in this case, now you can say that these two vectors are equal. So you cannot really say which vector is greater than which, but you can say which two vectors are equal. They are equal if, so two vectors will be equal if, equal if they have the same same magnitude, same magnitude and the same direction. So in other words, the, the two things that describe those vectors must be the same in order to have have the equality between them. So if, if you if you may consider that if you may consider that fact for a while, then you can you can uh, start to see some amazing things, some some really useful things with vectors. And and the main thing that that uh, should interest that should be of interest to you that that's something called parallel translation. Now, parallel translation just means that wherever you draw your vector doesn't make any difference. So, if you started out with let's say uh, this vector this vector in green, and you just uh, somehow parallelly shifted it to the right and you uh, achieved sort of this purplish vector. If these two have the same magnitudes and uh, since you have parallelly translated them, they have the same direction, irrespective of wherever you start these vectors. So this green vector starts at this this green dot, if you just extend that, it starts here, and this purple one uh, starts here, y you could have all shifted it up. So you, you could have something like this, and all of these will be equal, and all of these are same. There are There is no difference between these vectors. As long as you're keeping the magnitude and direction same, you can really just translate the vector. And a way to, to keep in mind that is is if you have, let's say, two cities and cities are the best way to represent vectors by the way so between these two cities you have some sort of displacement so uh, you, you sit on your airplane and and you just 
zoop through the sky and you just reach from city A to city B. And if you check in what direction your airplane ran, if you, if you go from uh, city C to city D and those cities are in the same same sort of orientation with respect to A and B, and then you, your airplane flew in the same direction, the same amount of fuel was used, the same speed was there, then these vectors will still be the same. The, the positions that they would now represent would be this uh, would be different, but the displacement vector, the, the actual displacement vectors we are talking about, they are going to be same. And so the main takeaway now, the main takeaway from this video is that you can you can not say less than or equal to vectors, but you can say uh, something about the equality of vectors. And as we as we explore uh, the richness of vector algebra, then you you'll get to know some more things. So that not only geometrically, not only by shifting these vectors parallelly, you can test whether two vectors are equal, but also using analytic methods without even drawing these vectors, you can get to know whether two vectors are equal or not. See you in the next video.